Police summon Meg after staff post proof Meg rushed them off their feet and evades paying the workers. Royal insiders say newly minted Royal Meghan Markle is ruffling feathers at Kensington Palace. Sunrise co-host Sam Armtegale details a story in the video above regarding new allegations the Duchess of Sussex is struggling to settle into life as a royal. Royal insiders say Meghan is overworking her staff and shaking up the palace. Moreover, royal staff accuse Meghan of ev evading paying the workers. They claim she begins the working day at 5 a.m. with meetings about shaping her role in the monarchy. They call her Hurricane Meghan, and the negative press is piling up. According to Sunrise, there's also a stoush over where Meghan and Prince Harry will live. They currently call the two-bedroom cottage within the grounds of Kensington Palace home. However, Meghan is said to be eyeing off the 21-bedroom apartment that the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester live in, but they are refusing to move. Sunrise Royal Correspondent Rob Jobson joined Sam and Conchie this morning when he said that he had heard whispers that Meghan is quietly demanding on the staff. She's got to fit in with the system, not the system fit in with her. The terms of where she ranks in the royal family, she's quite low down in the pecking order. They're the future Andrew and Fergie. Buckingham Palace announced this week that it will conduct an investigation into allegations of bullying in its workplace. Employees of the British royal family claim that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and wife of Prince Harry, bullied royal staff in 2018. The palace stated that it does not and will not tolerate bullying or harassment, and it's very concerned about the allegations. A spokesperson for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry said that Markle is saddened by the latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who has been the target of bullying herself and is deeply committed to supporting those who have experienced pain and trauma. Some sources have pointed out the suspicious timing of these allegations. Although the alleged bullying took place in 2018, in a release clip from the interview, Markle states that the monarchy is perpetuating falsehoods about her and her husband. However, as Buckingham Palace conducts this bullying investigation, Time will tell if there's merit to these employees' allegations. If legal action is taken against Meghan Markle, she would be subject to the laws of the UK on bullying in the workplace. However, the US has similar laws that prevent harassment in the workplace. For example, New York state law does not require harassment to be severe or pervasive in order for it to be illegal. However, workplace harassment does not need to be on the basis of protected class in order to be illegal, such as harassment based on race, religion, sex, disability, age, national origin, sexual orientation, or another protected characteristic. The press chief of the Sussexes, Jason Knopf, was reinstated by William and Kate in their office after he gave a complaint in writing to the palace chiefs and quit. Meghan's private secretary, Samantha Cohen, a senior in her work, was also subject to Meghan's bullying. Staffers were also mistreated on the Australian tour. Meghan and Harry got a new staff team set, but by 2019, they were sure they would quit the role of working royals. Harry complained to Oprah Winfrey on her show that his brother William and he were on different paths and didn't see each other. At this, William was deeply hurt and wanted to meet Harry. William informed Harry that he would have to inform his private secretary about Harry's visit to ensure his diary was not disturbed. Harry avoided meeting William because he feared the press would get the information.